Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about juniors and bridging the distance. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, can you detail some of the things that a bootcamp graduate or people in a junior position don't have that would make them le uh, less desirable to employers? I'd always bet money that at least one of those things is theory versus experience, but other than that, it is, is it a lack of proficiency in tools like Git and internal systems, not understanding basic design patterns, not following company code style guides, failure to learn the code base? What are a few examples of the gap newbies aren't aware that they have to bridge? Thanks. Well, usually it's strong fundamentals. Uh, that's the thing that the juniors usually don't get. The people who are uh, who stay at the boot camp level, developers uh, level for most of their career. It's t it ties into a few things I've said in a few videos now, where basically I it's a video I made a million years ago when uh, I was explaining to uh, where I explain basically that guys, the, you have to understand that I under you know. I get that you want to be able to talk the talk and walk the walk of a senior software developer and I understand that it's intimidating when you talk with like a real senior and they basically they have this almost eerie calm about them and you're always afraid that you're gonna say something wrong because they seem to know everything and as soon as they speak uh, it's like you maybe you understand half of what they're saying but and it sounds so reasonable and they're so so confident and so calm very calm and doesn't really matter what situation they seem to always have the answer uh, you will get there I promise you but you will not be able to to cut corners to get there. You will not be able to speed up the process of getting there by trying to learn all the things to a shitty level and then you know just know the words and not the meaning behind them. And so that's the thing that keeps usually is the distance that a lot of juniors don't understand that they have to bridge. You see guys uh, the unfairness quote unquote of software working as a software developer is that and this is actually a good testament to the thing that I like to say, which is that uh, diversity is not actually a good, uh, only a good thing. There are situations when diversity is a good thing, but the ecosystem of software uh, in uh, IT is so vastly uh, bloated at this point that you know we have maybe I don't even want to know how many languages we have that do l almost the same thing. I mean, what is the purpose of Python and Ruby? I cannot understand it. I, there's no, in my opinion, objectively good reason that both of these things should exist. But uh, we, do, we have it. It's, uh, it's the same thing with Java and C Sharp. Just, I mean, it used to be the case that there was a good reason to have Java around. It, we can kind of just, you know, at least in my opinion, we can just kill that fucking thing now and move over to C Sharp. I can't even understand why we would not, except for politics or legacy and stuff like that. Uh, so and there's so so much of that stuff going on, right? And that diversity, uh, that diversity is a problem because every company that you work for, or you try to get a job for, working for, they don't care if you sort of know a lot of stuff. They care that you're f that you're good at the thing that they need you to be good at, and that sucks because that means that you're going to have to bet on some stuff. Because the time it takes for you to get so good that you can basically work wherever you want is measured in years, many years, usually, unless you're very fortunate or very talented or you know something like that. Uh, that's the that's the luxury of being a well-rounded, strong, mid-level to senior profile you know coding so well that you you can basically spit in the air and find a company that's going to be well I mean you don't even have to know the specific stack that they're using because they're going to hire you anyway because you are already so established within within IT that they know that you're going to learn it very quickly usually and that takes time it takes time to get that diverse but the way to the way to really sh shoot yourself in the foot is to try to get there immediately to try to just diversify as much as possible the way to 
get your first job is to have strong fundamentals in one stack and then just focus on that stack until you know it so well that you're not scared of being a software developer within that stack anymore. That is what you should focus on, because that is the number one reason why uh, most juniors uh, fail. Interviews and like I mean, or if we just now assume that they're actually getting to the interviewing stage and like the thing that they're actually trying to bridge, right? Because there is a sphere of tools that is like I mean, the elements are all there for every company. So you were saying like, oh, not knowing Git. Well, you don't have to be a master of Git, but yes, being able to use Git is probably a pretty good thing. But the coding interview and like the way of getting your first job, they're not going to test you on Git most likely. They're going to test your fundamentals, and they're going to test your knowledge and theory and like you know, these sorts of things, right? So focus on that stuff because that's the stuff that gets you in the door. And then after that, you can start worrying about all the other things and so forth and uh, go through that nice crucible of feeling that you're too slow, that you're scared of fucking up all the time, you're, uh, you're an embarrassment to the company and people are judging you because you're not so good or too slow on the uptake and you're scared that you're going to get fired and all this good stuff that comes with trying something new and being out of your depth. That's the coming your way. But you, for for you to get all of those amazing experiences, you have to get in the door first. And here's the big secret about that, guys: all of that is going to come. It's going to suck, but you're going to get through it, and it's going to get a million times easier to deal with all of that stuff if you just follow that advice. Make sure that you have strong fundamentals, and the strong fundamentals that I'm talking about is the fundamentals of the web. Everything, I mean, if you're being a full stack developer, learn your CSS well, learn your HTML well, learn what a web server is, how to search things up and so forth, learn your basic polymorphism, object-oriented programming, uh, learn how MVC works, a database works, like focus on those fundamentals that are necessary in order to create a website. And just focus on those things until you know them to, uh, so well that you're not really wondering anymore how to spin up your own website. Don't jump on the bandwagon with all of these super trendy like libraries and shit like that because all of that stuff is based on those fundamentals. And when you have those fundamentals, then you can look at the fancier stuff and then you're ready to take that leap and become like the next level of whatever you're trying to be, right? So what I want you to take away from this is that my general rule of thumb for juniors is to accept that you are a beginner and focus on getting good at one set of tools because nobody cares how many skills you claim to have if you can't even do the basics. And trust me guys, I have at this point done many code reviews. I've done many code test reviews and hired people and done like interviews with candidates and stuff like that and almost all of them all the junior profiles who fail to get into the company it always comes down to the same thing either the code test is not actually working like we give them a simple a simple challenge like the basics of the basics create something base like some basic version of an application and they can't do it and we can't hire a person who can't even do the basics of the basics. Um, you're never going to get in if that's not possible. So those fundamentals is the thing to focus on. The other part is like knowledge and skill and like passion and hunger and all that good stuff, which is the thing that I've also told you guys about, that the social aspect of a junior comes down to basically one thing. How much do you want this? How enthusiastic are you about learning? Are you willing to to go through all the stuff that we have, you have to go through as a software developer to get those skills. Are you actually interested in learning more and becoming, you know, a rock star developer and showing that in the interview? If you can na nail these two things, guys, I promise you, you're going to get into the industry. And if you keep it up, you're going to be the head tech lead or something like that. And you're going to hopefully one day sit in. Uh, I sit in a bathtub or in a chair like this and talk to other people on YouTube about your experiences. Try it out. I promise you it's going to work. Have a great day.